Julie Roberts is one personality who's not shy to use her public figure for good. And this she does through her advocacy and activism against injustices towards people living with albinism. Guli joins Afternoon Express to engage us a bit more on this and her passion for the community. Welcome to The Loft, Guli. Hello, darling. How are you doing? Absolutely beautiful day, Cole. Siabonga, you know, girl, we are just needing you to be on the stage with us here on Afternoon Express. But you know what? It's so good. And I'm loving how you're rocking the outfit right now. I'm seeing gloves. I'm seeing a T-shirt, you know. Kind of break down the look, the lockdown look. <laughs> Oh, the lockdown look, I'm wearing gloves because I'm not doing my nails. I am not doing my nails at all. Um, the trench coat matches, so that's perfect. I have a t-shirt, it's Ruben, um, Stop Alb Albino Killings. I changed the t-shirt to Stop Albinism Killings because there are people first. We cannot call people albinos. We have to call them people with albinism. I have a heart murmur. Nobody calls me a heart murmurist, you know? So we need to change the narrative, as you said earlier. Yeah, you know, changing the narrative is what it's all about here. Yeah? And we do know the power that labels hold and labels carry. So, you know, we want to destigmatize the word, the phrase, and the label. So, why are you so passionate about this? You know, what gets you going every single time you see the dire issues related to the community? It, 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 um, <laughs> because um, when I. When apartheid ended, um, people with melanin, uh, black people with melanin, were, were, were liberated, and 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 um, people without melanin and, and 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 homosexuals were left behind. So we need to um, we need to show these people respect. Black people are the only people on this planet who kill people of albinism, and we need to stop that. And we need to make the world aware of how vile we are. What happens is that they get they um, these kids um, um, they, they 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 get chopped up all over Africa, and then they get prosthetics. We are responsible for spreading the awareness of, of, of the stopping of the killing of people with albinism. I mean, these, these are beautiful, beautiful human beings. Mm. To say they like me is an insult to them. Now, Guli, we also know that um, awareness here is, is something that we don't see more of, or enough of, rather. We speak to Urifilwe, we see her starring in a crazy, beautiful movie that speaks about the journey and the trials and tribulations of people within the community. And then again, we see people like you standing so strong in your belief. So, you know, talk to me about the role that awareness plays, influencing the ways in which people treat those living with albinism. Well, um, you will treat be pe people better if you know who they are and what they're about, and um, that they're and, and 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 if you just get to know people, you will treat them better. So I, I basically we spread the awareness that this is this is, this is who we are. We come in various spectrums of black, and um, people with albinism are also black. They need to be treated with the same dignity that you would treat any other black person. Mm -hmm. There's no spitting when you see them. There's no funny remarks. There's no staring. It's 2020. People with albinism have been around since forever, since Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. So um, this whole st staring at, at people and touching people's hair and asking people uh, um, obscure questions needs to end because ultimately it gets enough. People need respect. People with albinism have to be represented across the board. They need to be out there as the out or as there's an amazing models. There's amazing doctors out there. They basically need to be respected just like everybody else is. And we need to stop killing them. We kill them all over Africa. We kill them in KwaZulu Natal and Pumalanga. And it's disgusting and it needs to stop. And no one is going to get um, superpowers and no one is going to get, um, forget these superstitious beliefs because I honestly believe that they are all just um, a way to oppress a, a, a minority. And we need to stop. And the only people who can make the stop are black people. What are some of the day-to-day -day challenges they face with their communities, particularly those in villages and townships? Well, they've been stared at. I mean, why would you be stared at? You, 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 you've lived on this planet all your life and, and you keep and there's certain people keep staring at you. I mean, why are they staring at them? Why are you staring at people? And 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 they're whole spitting their jacket and, and praying that uh, hoping that they, oh, their own child doesn't have albinism and, and, and just in general treating people differently. You know, we went through apartheid, we, 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 apartheid is over, and, and yes, there are people who don't feel like they belong to, in this country, and that's ridiculous. Well, they don't belong to this continent, because obviously there's some parts of, of the continent that they can't go to. And, 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 and it's up to us to spread awareness and to start with the children, so that the children are aware that their friend must always be wearing a hat, that their friend must have such sunscreen. The children will be more helpful. We need to have talks at schools. 
Gulli, let's take this conversation a step further. You know, when we talk about education and awareness, the two go hand in hand. So what would you like to see happen on the ground in terms of transforming the education space within the community? Uh, we need to re-socialize everybody. We need to start off at the school, start with the school, start with the church, the home, um, the supermarkets, basically in magazines, newspapers. We need to be cognizant of the decisions that we make. And Guli, this goes far beyond just tokenism and making sure you've got that one token to represent the entire community. We need to do a full-on makeover of our space as society. So I agree with you on that one. So then how can other people contribute towards the fight against injustices faced by the albinism community? Speak. Speak up. People with albinism, speak up. You have a right to speak up. If you're black and you've got melanin, it is, it is your... You, you have to, it is your duty yes. to educate the next person, especially Caucasians, because Caucasians don't know about this madness. So educate, educate Caucasians as well, get donations. As a parent, you know, read about, read, read about albinism and then go to your child's school with the hats, with the donation of umbrellas, with the donation of sunscreen. Let's not wait for others to help us, let's help ourselves. Is this what you want everyone to walk away with? Just be the change. I mean, what advice do you have for people? Be the change. Remember, you are not here for yourself. You are here for a purpose, and the purpose is to look after everybody else. Look after everyone. Be that family member. Don't ask yourself, but don't call people Malala. But don't think that you're better than anyone. You're not better than anyone. We are all the same. We need to look after each other. We are nothing without each other. That's my last words. Thank you so much for using your voice again, Guli Roberts, for such an incredible cause, raising awareness within the black community, around the albinism community. We appreciate you, and we heard you, girl, loud and proud. Cheers. Oh, look after my people, and I look after you. Mwah. I love you. And we love you, Guli. Now, it's always best to equip yourself with knowledge and always understanding that our world is made beautiful by the different characters which exist within it. Let's always support those who seem in more vulnerable positions than our own.